Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So on my last thrift haul video, I received a comment asking me to do a thrifted New Year's Eve outfit challenge and I absolutely love the idea. So thank you for the comment. So that's what I wanna do today. I wanna go thrifting for some fun New Year's Eve outfit inspiration. Disclaimer, this year I'm going to my cousin's house for like a game night. So my New Year's Eve is gonna be super chill. I'll probably wear like a sweater and jeans, but I want to try to thrift some fun going out outfit ideas for y'all. So that's what I'm going to be going thrifting for today. Sorry if I sound a little bit congested. I am congested. I've been having this lingering cold for like two weeks and I cannot get over it. And if you see me looking over in this direction a lot, it's because our backyard backs up to a field and our neighbors have a horse and we got several inches of snow last night and the horse looks absolutely gorgeous in the snow so I'm going to show you what my backyard is currently. I'm hoping that thrift stores aren't closed because several of the schools closed and I need them to be open today because I have a few hours to film today so let's go thrifting. I'll show you the horse Bootsy. Yeah hopefully it's a good thrift day. Mm -hmm. These are the four things that I picked up. This skirt is a quarter. I love this lace jacket. This velvet shirt I've been eyeing for a little bit. It is a petite, and I'm not a petite size, but I think it could look cute with the pencil skirt. And this has a little bit of shine. This is about all the glitter I could find. So we struck out on the glitter, but it's still cute. So I'm gonna try all these things on. Hey, I just left the first thrift store, spent right around $15, got some awesome things. It started out a little bit slow, but I eventually found enough good stuff, ended up throwing something in last minute that I cannot wait to show you. It's a lot more difficult going thrifting when it's so cold outside and you have like thousands of layers because trying on clothes is kind of a hassle. But I'll do it for you because I like you and I like doing these hauls. I'm at another thrift store now and we'll see what we can find. The dressing room is a little bit yellow, but I definitely found a few things. So I have a color scheme minus this red dress, but I got a few velvet pieces. I really want this skirt to fit me, but I think it's gonna be a little big. Found some sparkle, love the nude color. It's like a super heavy coat. It's picking up so green in here, but I promise it's black. And then this one dress, so let's get to try on. I likely won't get this because it's a little bit tight, but look how fun it is. I wish it wasn't so yellow in here, but definitely got some gold sparkle going on. I surprisingly like this more than I thought. It's like a nice little vintage dress. Ooh, let me put this coat on with it. The coat is so heavy and short on me, but there we go. Okay, I am back home, and I think I surprised even myself with what all I was able to find. This baby's full. It was a slow start. I was kind of getting discouraged, but then I found one or two pieces and then it just kept building on top of that. In the past, I've really struggled with just buying whatever I see and I like. 
and then I would have a closet full of stuff that I never wore. So I was trying to be more mindful of that this haul. But let's just go ahead and jump into everything I got, and then I will do a try on and style everything for you guys at the end of this video. I picked up two pair of shoes, not necessarily just for this video, um, for New Year's Eve. I don't even know if that I will style them in this video. We'll see. But I just really, really like them. So uh, the first pair are these mules. They're from A New Day, so Target. They were $3.99. I don't think that they've ever been worn. I don't have any black mules and I absolutely love these. They just so happen to be in my size. And I think these are so fun. You really could dress these up or just wear them more casual. I'm not sure what these are retail at Target, but I know that they're gonna be more than $3.99. So super happy when I found those. And then I also picked up these pair of booties. I love, 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 love this color. Size 38, I don't know if that's like European. They don't have any other markings on them, so I don't know where they're from. They were $5, yeah, love this color. And again, they look like they have been worn very little. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and go on to jewelry. I love finding jewelry thrifted, and I kind of went more blingy for this video just because it's New Year's Eve, and I feel like you need to bring in the bling. So I got two necklaces and a pair of earrings. This is the first necklace. I don't know that I would wear this every day, but I think it's gonna look really cute styled. And honestly, don't tell my grandma. She likes wearing blingy type jewelry, and I think I'm gonna give this to her for Christmas because I could totally see her wearing this. So. So yeah, I got this for this video. I'm gonna style it with some outfits and then if I don't end up keeping it, I'm gonna gift it to her. Don't worry, I have given her thrift gifts in the past and she actually loves my love of thrifting. So she's very happy to get thrifted gifts. Yeah, I could totally see her wearing this, but again, I'm gonna style it with some of my outfits and then we'll see if I end up keeping it. I also got these pair of gold hoops for a dollar. I love wearing hoops, as you can see, I have on hoops now, but I don't have any that's blingy and I think this is really fun to pair with some of the outfits. So these were a dollar as well. And then the last necklace I got, it was $3, but it was half off today, so um, it was $1.50 and I have been eyeing this necklace probably for the past month, every time I go in there, but I never bought it, but then today it was half off and I just couldn't resist anymore. I love this. I think it would look really cute with like more of a V-neck top. I don't have anything this simple and I just loved it. So $1.50, I definitely can see myself wearing this quite often. Okay, and before we jump into clothing, if you have not yet, please take a moment to hit that red subscribe button. I love sharing thrift haul videos and I would love if you would follow along. And of course, if we're not Instagram friends, go ahead and add me on there because I'm always sharing sneak peeks of my thrifted finds on Instagram. <laughs> I'm so excited. I honestly did not think I would do this well today because I only went to two stores. And I've told you guys before, but I live in a smaller town, so I didn't think I would have super good luck, but I think we did pretty well today. So uh, the first item I got is this green pencil skirt. Now look at this. It's brand new. $80 skirt. Of course, it was like marked down to $55.99. Got this for a quarter. Green tags were a quarter. I picked this $25. I, I mean, I can't. I can't believe it. A quarter for this skirt that was brand new, retail $80. And it has an extra button. 100% wool. I could definitely see myself wearing this to church. And I love this color. I really love this color. And I could not believe a quarter you guys this is just crazy just crazy but yeah i say it in every video that i am always amazed that i can find thrifting so a quarter for this skirt and of course you guys will see everything on the try on haul and then i got this velvet top i just love this sleeve detail i mean that is gorgeous it is a little short on me but since i wear high-waisted jeans and pencil skirts a lot i knew i could just tuck it in and then it wouldn't matter so that's what i'm planning to do with this top um, the brand is sweet gray I haven't really heard of it I paid $3 for this, and I'm super excited to show you guys what it looks like with different outfits. Okay, sticking with items from that first store, I also picked up this lace jacket. I thought this was super pretty. I don't have anything like it, and I think it just helps to bring a dressy element to any outfit. The brand is Love Note. I haven't really heard of that either, so I'll need to look it up. But even the buttons have the pretty lace detail on them. And I paid $4 for this. And the last thing I picked up from that same store is this suede type jacket. Now, I love this color. And this was kind of like a last minute purchase because it was on the rack that's usually a little bit more expensive, right by the cashier's desk, that I usually avoid. But it was $4.99, which I thought was a pretty good deal for this. Um, size 4 from The Gap. Yeah, I just don't have any jackets this color. And $5, I mean... 
yeah, it's a little bit more expensive for me, but I knew I would pay way more if I got this retail. Not really sure how I'm gonna style this yet for New Year's Eve, but I'm gonna try. All right, this is the item that I debated on getting because I don't know how practical it is, but I did it for y'all because I knew that it would look cute style for New Year's Eve. So that is this sparkly gold sweater. It's from The Limited. I don't know how practical this is for just like normal everyday wear, but for a Christmas party or for New Year's Eve, you know, if you just wanna bring a little sparkle into your life, I thought it was really cute. And after I put it on with the pencil skirt, I was like, I need to get this. I need to show them what it looks like styled. And I wanted to show you that you could get very New Year's Eve type outfits thrifted. So that's why I picked this up. I don't have anything sparkly in my closet. I think I used to have like a sparkly turtleneck top that I gave to one of my friends. I was actually thinking about that last night when I wanted to do this video. I was like, I need to call her up and get that sweater because I literally gifted it to her like two months ago because I wasn't wearing it very much. But then I found this one and it's even a little bit more shimmery, shiny. So it was $3. It's gonna be very festive. All right, and the last clothing piece I got was this skirt. It is just so pretty. And when I had tried this on, I was like, it's gonna be too big because it's a size 9, 10 and I usually wear like a four to six. But I don't know if they just made them smaller back in the day, but this 9, 10 was almost a little bit too tight for me. It looks vintage, I don't have any idea what this brand is. It's like kind of like a snake skinny, leathery material and it's just super pretty and I think it's gonna look super fun styled for the holidays. It was $3 I believe, so $3 for this skirt. Yeah, instead of me just rambling, why don't we go ahead and try on some things? This is outfit number one. I'm wearing the thrifted necklace, sweater, and skirt. And I'm actually gonna bring in a few additional pieces that I have thrifted previously to mix and match with these outfits. So I'm gonna throw on a vest real quick to show you guys what that would look like. This vest was a previously thrifted item, but I think it's really fun just to kind of mix and match it. So you could also throw on a different jacket as well. But yeah, this is outfit number one. Okay, so outfit number two, I kept the same top and necklace on. I changed up the skirt. So this is the green pencil skirt that I picked up for a quarter. Pairing it with this black jacket that I had picked up from a $5 bag sale a few months ago. Realistically, I'd probably wear leggings with this just because I am like a cold nature person. But uh, yeah, this is outfit number two. And I'm gonna go ahead and take off this jacket and put on another jacket just to show you guys um, how a jacket can really change the look of an outfit. Okay, and so now I'm obviously wearing the brown jacket. I pulled the sleeves of the sparkly top down just to give it a little bit of extra flair on the bottom. But yeah, simply changing a jacket can completely transform an outfit. And I realized I lost two nails in the process of the filming of this video. Fail. Okay, I wanted to keep this next outfit a little bit more casual because if you are like me, you're not getting super glammed up for New Year's, but you still wanna look cute. So this is a velvet shirt and I'm just pairing it with a pair of basic denim and these new mules that I just thrifted. Again, I have this simple dangly necklace on. I just love the little extra character it gives, but we can even glam this up a little bit more. So this is kind of just like a simple look and now I'm gonna throw on a different jacket and some different jewelry to show you how you can take this and transform it. Okay, as you can see here, I have the same basic look. I have the same top, same jeans. I just mixed up the jacket. I added some tall boots, and then I added some more bling with my jewelry here. So I'm wearing these nice hoops, and then this fun little necklace. I don't usually wear like blingy necklaces and earrings combined. I'm usually one or the other, but for New Year's, I feel like it's a special occasion, so you could mix it up. And I also wanna try on the best with this outfit, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Here it is with the best. Again, a whole nother look. Not super dressy, but I know, again, some of y'all are like me and you're keeping it simple or you're doing like a New Year's Day brunch or something. And this is just a fun outfit that looks super cute. And for this last outfit, I have a bit of a surprise for you. Let me just back it on up here. This romper. I had picked this up this summer as part of a $5 bag sale and I have never wore it and I kind of forgot about it. How cute would this look for a New Year's Eve party? I thought I would just put a few different jackets with it to show you how you can mix it up. So this is jacket number one, the white jacket. Here it is with the vest. I do not know how practical this is because let's face it, my arms would be freezing off right now. But again, not all of you guys live in like super cold climates like me, so maybe you could pull it off better than me. Okay, here the brown jacket is. I don't know what I think about this combo together, but I love both pieces separately, so. Let me know what you think about them together. This might be my favorite so far. I don't know if it looks too bikerish, but 
kind of elegant. I just like black. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what jacket you think works best with this romper. Not like I'm really gonna be wearing it anywhere, but still, let me know. Oh, I just thought of one more outfit combo. So, what do you guys think? I paired the sparkly sweater with the romper. This is really janky back here because I just literally tied it up with the hair tie. But if I were to wear this, I would pin it up a little bit more realistic way. So what do you guys think of this? Does it work? I feel like it's pretty festive. And of course, I'm pairing it again with my very festive earrings and necklace. Yes? No? Let me know. Okay, so that was so much fun. Thank you for the comment suggestion on what video I should do. If anybody else has any suggestions or any thrift challenges, let me know in the comments below because I always love finding new ideas. I was just amazed that I was able to find all this stuff thrifting. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite look was from today's thrift haul. I appreciate you guys so much. It is so fun creating these videos and I love connecting and hearing from you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Again, if we are not Instagram friends, add me on there. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That just helps with this whole YouTube algorithm that I'm still trying to figure out. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.